All right, welcome back. We are on Ohana. It is your winner's match game one of the series. It is Protoss versus Zerg with our two winners. It is the match that will determine who the first player coming out of Group D into the round of 16 is. And going right into our player introduction, spawning in the top left corner, it is your green Zerg. Just gaming. Infinity Gaming North America. Old Man Slum. And his opponent in the bottom right won a PvP series pretty handedly, taking it two to one. He is your orange Protoss player. Lucem de Elysium Cloud. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, getting right into the action. We do have a uh, spawning pool first coming out of Old Man Slum. Maybe playing it a little bit safe. That is the. Um, actually, we saw him put sp uh, spawning pool first uh, on the game three last series against his uh, Protoss opponent in Dreams. And that actually ended up paying dividends for him as he was able to hold a two base sentry immortal all in. He does get the scout out with the uh, drone in old in Cloud's main, rather. And he's going to go ahead and chill near the natural expansion just to see if he can get the timing of when the expansion is taken and, of course, to perhaps deny it a little bit. He's going to send it right back into the main just to poke around, see when the extra pylon goes down um, to make sure that it's not going to be put out onto the map. There are, of course, two pylons in the main um, of Cloud, so he's... Uh, not necessarily alarm bells shouldn't be going off for old man slum as of yet but just as I say that cloud has rallied a uh, drone out here a Tyrannus uh, not drone a Tyrannus probe out here to the top right of the map uh, maybe gonna get some sneaky shenanigans in um, he did I'm thinking if he hid tech in his series against dreams or um, doohickey I know doohickey hid um, tech but I'm not sure Cloud did. Cloud, of course, not afraid of going for some um, Dark Templar build builds, um, but he's still got that probe out there on the side of the map just in case he needs to. Old Man Slum is going to go ahead and go right to three bases as quickly as he can after that spawning pool, and he's going to go ahead and take out these rocks for between the natural and the third. Meanwhile, Cloud is getting, uh, of course, warp gate research. He has two gateways currently, and uh, he's probably going to begin uh, getting his mothership core soon. Oh, the mothership core is already out, rather. Uh, he is getting his next second nexus on the natural up and running. Uh, of course, slight supply favor uh, in terms and in favor of the Zerg player right now, uh, as he's getting his macro up and running with his injects and his larva, of course, paying off in that respect. Old Man Slum is going to be ahead, sending his scouting overlords across the map. Going to get some good vision uh, of the main and natural base of um, Cloud, as well as taking the Zelnaga Tower at the front of the natural of um, Cloud. So this way, Old Man Slum is probably going to know what's coming for him uh, if he gets his overlords into good positions. Uh, it's kind of funny leaving this Mothership core out here in the front. He's just going to dissuade any Lings coming up in trying to get a scout because we do have Blink just beginning to research on the Twilight Council of our um, uh, Protoss player. Funnily enough, there is an Overlord out here that is really close to this Tyrannus probe uh, in the right of the map um, who's going to do his best to uh, hopefully see what's going down. Now, uh, nothing too crazy as of yet. We do have uh, more gateways on the way at the bottom of the natural ramp, so we are going to see some blink stalkers, of course, in production just as soon as he starts um, or he finishes warp gate. If we look back at the response from Old Man Slum, even though he hasn't seen um, that the Twilight Council is researching, um, he does have a Roach Warren on the way. So uh, Roaches, mm, you know, they trade pretty decently uh, versus stalkers. Of course, one Roach will beat one stalker, but um, you know, when you have blink, you have a bit. A lot more maneuverability and that sort of thing. So Claude is going to be looking to make the plays with um, 
that sort of uh, response. And we do have Old Man Slum getting his Overlord here into the main. There's going to be another Stalker. Ooh, and he puts a he puts a Dark Shrine down right there. Maybe he's going to bait out the... Uh, is he going to cancel? There! That was such a cool play. If you look in the bottom of the uh, natural cloud, started up a Dark Shrine, and Old Man Slum died before he canceled it. The, the uh, scouting uh, Overlord died before he canceled it. So now he th is expecting DTs. So, he, of course, he already has a Spore Crawler up in every single um, base, but he's rallied his lings back to each base to expect DTs in the Mineral Lines. So maybe uh, he'll be able to see this. Cloud will be able to see this advantage out and getting his army caught out of position at some point in the game. Um, not doing much yet with that as of now, but he is pushing out with a small force of Stalkers and one Zealot. Uh, he does have this probe here. It did The Tyrannus probe did build a pylon, but the Overlord right there scouts it. So we're going to see what the response is coming from our Zerg player. Not much doing right now. He's still kind of focusing on getting his creep out, uh, and he's still droning up. He does have six roaches on the way. Um, does he have any on the field already? Uh, no, he does not, but he does have six roaches on the way. Ah, these lings might get the surround on. Oh, the blink. There's the blink play into the ramp. He is going to get the surround on the zealot, but that's a lot of lings. Um, those stalkers able to put out. Uh, the shots are necessary, especially in this choke point on the ramp. Now the Lings are going to see if they're going to run by. He does have the support of the Riches now. I think Old Man Slum's got um, numbers, of course, on his side. However, Cloud with the Blink Stalker is going to have that maneuverability uh, and may be able to take an engagement heavily in favor of him. Uh, I wouldn't push out there if I were you, Cloud, but he's going to might get his units trapped on. If he gets a little too rambunctious with these units, gets a little uh, cocky, he's going to get down here and he might get surrounded because Old Man Slum's got the trap set coming around from both sides. He's got a time warp going down, but that's not going to slow down. These Speedlings are already in on the Stalkers. Another time warp goes down on the Queen, but I mean, not really doing much. The Roaches are getting really good shots off these Stalkers. The Lings are already in on the uh, Stalkers, and Roaches, a decent concave around them. The reinforcing Stalkers, not enough. And the Lings are, uh, you know, getting right on top of the Stalkers, and the Stalkers are having to shoot Lings instead of shooting Roaches, which is what you is not what you want. He's actually going to lose the Mothership Core to the Queen, so um, this is pretty much exactly the type of game we saw come out of the... And welcome to Shakur's Plateau. Uh, nothing crazy going down. No proxy gatage or proxy hatched as of yet. <laughs> uh, we do have uh, an early spawning pool. I think Old Man Slum going for spawning pool over hatchery uh, from here on out against Protoss because uh, it, it served him so well in the earlier series versus Dreams. Um, the probe from Cloud making its way around sent to the wrong base first, but of course now he knows where his opponent is due to the uh, location of the Overlord coming in there. We do have a gateway uh, thrown down, so no Forge expansion um, coming from our Protoss player. Um, and he's going to go ahead and transfer probes onto his assimilator and start getting that Vespine gas into his bank. Hatchery has been thrown down at the natural for Old Man Slum as Cloud's probe does get in to get a decent little scout. He notices the build time and knows that there's already a spawning pool in the base of um, Old Man Slum. Old Man Slum, of course, starting to get his queen out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce our uh, players. Forgot to do that. They've got some nice little graphics for them. Uh, going to go ahead right into it then. In the bottom left corner, our green Zerg, currently one game up on his protest opponent. Infinity Gaming North America, Old Man Slum. And in the bottom right, fighting for his tournament uh, life. Actually, no, he could go on into the uh, the final match of the series, but he's final. He's fighting for um, the first uh, player to qualify out of Group D into the round of 16. He is your orange Protoss player. Lusum de Elysium, Cloud. And we do have a pylon getting thrown down in the main of the top third. I suppose it's not necessarily main. It could be one of the mains. One of the spawning locations, rather. And the top third of Shakura's Plateau by Cloud. Uh, and this Overlord's going to come and poke around, and it might actually scout it, but probably going to stop right there, and that's actually what is exactly going to happen. Um, Cloud, meanwhile, has taken a uh, natural. 
He's going to go ahead and get uh, warp gate research, and of course has his mothership core uh, just chilling. Let's see what the tech is. It's Twilight Council, so we might see DTs. Of course, Cloud hiding um, his Twilight Council there in the top left, so we'll see what, what it is. Uh, there is a third hatchery taken from Old Man Slum at the top of the map as opposed to the uh, closer um, third, which, um, you know, is actually relatively defendable um, because it does have rocks on the ramp behind it um, and a little bit of a choke point here between the cliffs and uh, I suppose what would be a, a so some sort of lake or whatnot. Um, but he has chosen instead to go ahead and go to the natural of the top left spawning location. The Twilight Council has finished up for uh, Cloud and we'll see if he's going to go ahead and research something or if he's just going to throw down uh, his next tech whether it be um, a, uh, a dark shrine and it, that's exactly what it is. So he threw down a dark shrine of course the only thing, other thing would be like a Templar archives but why would you really hide that um, aside from a dark shrine which is what it is going to be. Dark Shrine, of course, takes a little bit to finish up as long as a Nexus does. It's 100 seconds, so it'll be some time before we see DTs on the map. Uh, we don't have this scouted yet from Old Man Slum, and why would it? I don't think he's got really any reason to go up there, so, of course, good on Claude for choosing a, uh, a non-risky position to put his tech. Meanwhile, if we look at what Old Man Slum is doing, he's sticking with the tried and true. He's got a Roach Warren, um, and he's getting his creep spread going across Shakur's plateau to get him that vision and of course extra burst of speed that it provides his uh, Zerg Swarm. He's a bit of supply blocked as he lost a uh, um, Overlord um, so gonna have to correct that as he makes four, four Overlords about to pop gets right out of that supply block but uh, never uh, of course want to be supply blocked at any point in the game for as long as you can manage. This is uh, once again looking to be uh, a little too basey um, but Cloud is researching both Blink and he's going to have uh, Dark Templars on the field shortly. Or at least he has the tech to do so if he so pleases. Um, nothing else crazy coming out from Old Man Slum. He has played it particularly standard. He is getting a Spore Crawler in, his, in every single one of his bases, so he is going to have that detection as speed is about uh, 10 seconds from finishing off. As these Dark Templar go down and they're actually going to target the Spore Crawler and they're going to be able to cancel it. Um, of course, there are drones that are going to try and take out these Dark Templars, but now they're allowed to go crazy on these uh, drones and they're going to get a couple kills. One Dark Templar has three kills already. Actually, they all have three kills, it seems like. Um, and they're just going to go to work on this hatchery now trying to take it out. So this play might work. Um, but Old Man Slum coming in with Lings, he's got to need to get an Observer up there. How is he going to see this? Uh, there's nothing doing for him. He's going to lose this hatchery. Three Dark Templars really paying for themselves here. Um, so that hatchery is going to go down. Uh, he is going to manage to mine off one little... And he's going to pop out those uh, um, drones, of course, out of those cocoons. Now, finally, an Overseer coming across and all these Dark Templars are going to die. Um, but they got rid of that hatchery just in time. We're going to see how much this really pays off. He targeted the hatchery as opposed to the drones. Uh, and we'll see whether that was a good decision or not. Of course, now he's gotten into what is essentially the production of the Zerg as opposed to the economy of the Zerg. If you want to limit their money income, you go after drones. If you want to limit their ability to produce units, um, more so you go after hatcheries, of course. Um, we do have 1-1 one, one about to finish for our Zerg player. He is researching melee attacks for his Zerglings, not missile attacks uh, for his Roaches. Um, this is a little bit of a push coming out. A lot of zealots going into this third. The stalkers are going to get surrounded by these links. Um, they pretty much all die instantly. The roaches put out a lot of DPS. We do have zealots coming into this third. We'll see if they are able to cancel it again, but the roaches are here. Um, and a queen going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mothership core. Uh, the zealots are going to get taken out by these roaches. It doesn't seem like they're going to be able to get the cancel on the third. A time warp goes down not right on top of these roaches, but I'm not sure that's going to accomplish much because they're already in the fight. The Mothership core might be able to take out the queen. Yeah, it looks like it's going to. It's really close, but there's another queen here to help, and that one's going to definitely win the game for it, or win the match uh, in regards to a Mothership core versus a queen. We do have stalkers now, four versus four roaches, uh, five rather, but a queen in support. And the Blink Stalkers are able to blink back a little bit to the top of the ramp, but Ling's getting in on top of these weaker Stalkers. He wasn't able to get those out of the way, and now there's just four Stalkers to a couple Lings and a bunch of Roachers come to this ramp. And Old Man Slum essentially looking to take game two pretty handily because I don't think Cloud is going to expand to a third. I think he was pretty all in at this point, and that's where it ends. It's GG, Old Man Slum.